Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes to this day that has given us together. Today I will be meditating upon God turned our sorrows into joy. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Psalms chapter 30, verse 4 to 5. Sing the praises of the Lord, you his faithful people. Praise his holy name, for his anger lasts only a moment. But his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. Have you noticed that disappointment, discouragement, disillumment, devastation, and depression all start with the letter D? Most of these words result with another D word, division. You might un- already understand that what I am trying to say and where I am going. We receive all types of warning signs similar to what Adam and Eve have received in the Garden of Eden. But we still ignore them and let the deceiver destroy us and let his plan succeed. When life turns ugly and stays ugly, it's easy to become trapped in an emotional vortex. We go down and we spin until we finally believe that God hates us and that all hope is lost. In Psalm chapter 30 by King David, he gives us a different perspective. The promise that hard times do not last forever. Hard times are for our testing and building our faith more stronger. To change our attitudes, we must focus on thinking to see whether our difficulties and our trials intended to strengthen and test our faith or divine discipline intended to correct and train us. The fact remains that God is praiseworthy. He can be counted on to shower his people with his divine favors. He will turn our today mornings into tomorrow's dance. So don't let the deceiver mislead you and stay focused to overcome all his destructive plans to receive the joy our Lord, our God, our creator, has stored for us. This message also is a promise for you today. The promise is, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Let's close time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God. Lord, you are holy and worthy of praise. God, I wish to worship you at all times. When life is difficult and when it is hard and sad at times, but they are temporary, your favor is continually with me. Though I weep and mourn now, help me to keep my hopes on you and believe, really believe that you are in control. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a day, everyone of God. We're going to talk with you tomorrow.